Hey boo boo, how you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. It's Lele in the building. And today we have a pick a card reading and we're going to tap in and see what are the predictions for the rest of this year. Uh, what can you expect? All right, so we will get it popping. Uh, we got three card decks to choose from. For group one, we have the Prism Tarot. That's going to be for group one, the Prism Tarot. And for group two, oh, the back says Stay Magical AF. Okay, if you just want to take a gander of that. I got this deck on Etsy. I love this deck. And for group two, we have the Cat Tarot. Cut? I'm a kitty cat. And I don't sound stunts and I don't sound stunts. Okay. <laughs> Comment down below if you remember that video from back in the day. Hey. And for group three, we have the Muse Tarot. Okay. So that's going to be for group three, the Muse Tarot. Go ahead and meditate on whichever card deck you were called to. Always listen to that first mind. Time says will be down below and I will see you with your pal. All right. All right, Boo Boo, if you chose group one with this tarot deck here, the Prism Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, so while I was shuffling the cards, I was hearing that there is something that you left behind a while back. It could have been a hobby or it could have been a manifestation idea. Like, you might have been trying to, let's say, manifest something, and then, like, maybe it was taking too long, and you just decided, you know what, forget about it. Something's coming back around, is what I'm hearing. And with all these retrogrades at the moment, like, of course, right? <laughs> so you might be picking up an old hobby or something like that. Like, something from the past is coming back around. So let's get it popping. Let's go ahead and see the overarching energy. So, Spirit, show me an affirmation for the next four months, or group one. We have oneness is my true nature. So you're going to start realizing that separation is an illusion, okay? And feel it more one with your environment, one with your job, one with like everything is what I'm hearing. Like everything is interconnected, all right? Next card, let's see. So spirit, show me the overarching energy for the next four months. Oh, we got two cards. Okay, so we have I Surrender. So we have I Surrender, and I believe this is the card of Pisces. And we have I Have Permission. I Surrender and I Have Permission. You're going to, it's like realizing that you're not separate from what you want, what you desire, or the world. No longer feeling like an outcast is a message that I'm hearing heavily. Like if you felt, let's say, kind of depressed for a while or felt kind of isolated and you know, this is like feeling like you were on the outside looking in. I'm hearing that you're no longer going to be feeling like that and regaining your confidence to be yourself. And the universe says that you have permission to be yourself and that anything that makes you feel less than or separate from the world or from others is an illusion, okay? So let's go ahead and get it popping with some oracle. Let's see, spirit. Show me more. Show me more, spirit. Okay, we have I am presence. Wow. Uh, for the next four months, the rest of 2023, you might, you're going to be like grounding yourself is what's coming through. I am presence. I, oneness is my true nature. This is like you tapping into your higher self and no longer feeling separate is just this big message that I'm hearing. Okay, you're going to be getting back into alignment with your higher self for the next four months. Alrighty. Let's see what else. We will pull some of these. Show me the overarching energy spirit. Yeah, you're going to surrender to... It's like surrendering from all the chaos in your head, surrendering from all of the chaos in the outer world. It's like, it's just feeling like you're taking responsibility is what I'm hearing. And as I say that, we have the arrow master. It says hitting the mark, intention, and detachment. All right, so you have, it's like for our manifestations and things that we desire for ourselves, like we have to have a level of just detachment and you're going to start like really focusing in and this is giving big picture vibes, okay? You're seeing the bigger picture for the next four months. And this is also giving like New Year's resolution before it happens, like preparing for a New Year's resolution before the New Year starts. That way you get a head start is what I'm hearing. But you're going to be hitting the mark like every because you're surrendering. You're surrendering to the flow. You're going to be getting out of resistance. It feels like you were in a resistance for a while. But because you're going to be coming to your eye and presence, you're going to be grounding yourself more. And not taking things so uh, 
you know, you know, taking things personal is what I'm hearing. No longer taking things personal and allowing yourself to be more yourself authentically with that. I have permission. It's like you're going to be giving yourself permission to immerse yourself in your work, immerse yourself in your creativity or your job, allowing yourself to shine and realizing that you are a part of the whole picture. It's like without you, uh, your whole lifestyle, like your living situation, your job, what have you, like it wouldn't be the same. You, you bring something special and unique. And it's, this is like acknowledging the fact that I am unique. I am special. I, it's like, what is my I am? You're going to be getting into, I'm hearing I am affirmations for the next four months. And you're going to really set, set your intention and hit the mark. And you're going to be recognized and you're going to realize that you are part of the team where before you felt like you were sitting on the sideline, you're sitting on the bench, right? Maybe everybody else was getting a turn and you felt like you were, you know, kind of outcasted for a while, but you're no longer going to be feeling like an outcast. You're no longer going to feel like, you know, it's not your turn. I'm hearing it's your turn now because you're surrendering and you're not caring what people think about you. And, and it, this is so beautiful. This is exciting energy. Y'all, this is awesome. What else, Spirit? What's going to be happening within the next four months for Group 1? Okay, so we have the fourth house. All right, so we have the fourth house show in here. This is about your roots, your home. I'm hearing that you could also, it's just like, I'm also hearing that peace is going to be coming into to your household if you've been having strifes with other people is what I'm hearing. But this is about your family, home, your background, comfort, Cooking, inner world, real estate, shelter, self-care, rejuvenation, habits, and shell. I just heard that you're going to be breaking bad habits. With that surrender card, it's like maybe it's like get, doing an inventory of what does it serve you and just be like, I just surrender to the flow of life and I allow healing in my household. You could also be changing the way that your house looks or moving house. Literally, I cannot make this up. Okay, so we have the 12th house and it says surrender. So we have two cards that say surrender. The next four months is going to be about surrendering, which is to feel at ease, feel at ease in your skin. And this go around, it's going to be different because you're coming from a place of least resistance, okay? So the 12th house is also Pisces energy, which we actually have Saturn and Pisces. So Spirit's talking about this right now. Uh, Saturn and Pisces, this is like, being gracious with ourselves and getting real on on our lives and things that we need to quit doing. And you're going to be doing that is what I'm hearing. We do have Aries, the fire starter. Okay, so this is I am. Aries represents I am. And we literally have I am presence. So you're going to be changing your I am statement with the universe and taking your power back and hitting the mark again, okay? So we have 4th house and we have 12th house energy. So 4th house is Cancer, 12th house is Pisces. So this is about your emotions. You're allowing yourself to feel the fear and do it anyways because Aries energy is very bold, okay? This is like, this is giving up your beginner vibes where you allow yourself to be a beginner. You have permission is what Spirit's saying. Bottom of the deck, we have the 8th house intimacy. So... The 8th house is the house of Scorpio. Transformation vibes is coming through for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to see uh, the energies for September, October, November, and December. Okay, so Spirit, show me the energies for September. Show me the energies for September for group one. We have the two of Jim's priorities. So for September, you're going to be like, this is... Okay, what do I need to focus on? What do, what is a high the highest priority is what I'm hearing for September. That's gonna be the key right there. All right, so priorities are gonna be in check. You're gonna be discerning on okay, am I wasting my energy over here? What's gonna bear good fruit, right? And also for some of you guys, let's say this could be like that was my coffee machine, my coffee maker. <laughs> All right, so. Spirit saying, like with that coffee maker going off, this is given like you're ready. You're ready to make a hard decision. That's what I just heard. And this could be picking a new job, picking a new career, or a moving house or something like that. Like you're going to be making a decision about something that is your highest alignment, highest priorities. Show me October's energy. Oh, 
okay so for october we have the wheel of fortune cycles you're because okay you're gonna be making a decision all right in september and then what's gonna happen is that there's this new chapter that's opening a new a new cycle is opening is what spirit's saying for october okay so the ball is gonna be rolling because once you're grounded you've surrendered you allow yourself to have permission and to heal and i'm also hearing finding your voice and choosing something that's right for you the, I'm here that the, the wheels are going to be in motion in October, so expect new doors opening, new opportunities opening for October because you made the hard decisions, okay? Show me November's energy spirit. Show me November's energy. Okay, so for November, we have the novice of raindrops play. So for November, I'm here. This is like giving ease energy. This is not being so resistant to life and having ease. So for November, you're going to be focusing on things that bring you joy and being more lighthearted. I feel like you're getting out of a harsh situation. I'm here that the worst is over with, especially with that eighth house at the bottom of the deck. This is giving transitional energy. Uh, by November, it's like you're going to reignite your dreams again. It's like this is going to be easy. Right? That's what I'm here. That's so beautiful. I'm excited for you. The rest of this year isn't going to be as tough as the rest of this year was. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. And it's because you're going to be have this level of detachment and just focusing on joy. Focusing on things that make you feel good. And this is like detaching from the outcomes and stuff. And realizing that you, you have permission and everything's going to be okay. You're safe to be yourself. You're safe to dream. You're safe to go out and explore life. Okay? Show me December's energy spirit. All right, so for December, we have the Hermit, Seek Truth, which is very appropriate because December's, you know, when the Northern Hemisphere is the coldest part of the part of the year. And so you're going to be really introspective in December and maybe having more inventory. It's like you're going to have this level up because like I said, you're starting your New Year's resolution before it happens. That's the vibe that I'm picking up here. That way you're a step ahead. And I'm here, that's kind of the game plan for you for the next four months. It's like, I want to be a step ahead. And this is so awesome, okay? Going within, doing the self-inventory, seeking truth, and just detaching. Like, there's just this level of detachment that you're going to have for the rest of this year. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles Legacy. So this is really cool. This is given, like, grounded energy, legacy wealth. Like, you're going to be planting seeds. The Spirit's saying that you're going to... It's like you're going to be at the Ten of Pentacles come January. All right? Feeling abundant and everything. All right? So, let's go ahead and get you some final advice. The Spirit... What final advice do you have for Group 1? What final advice do you have for Group 1? Okay. So, we have Nine Completion. Like I said, there's, there's something... I'm hearing it's like a... You know, whenever you're picking off le like dead leaves on a plant, that's what's been happening with you. And this is that surrender energy. That's that 12th house energy. Letting go of the karmic patterns, the karmic cycles. Having the, you know, being honest with yourself. What do I need to cut out? Because there's something more for you, is what Spirit's saying with the, with the nine. Okay, nine is about endings, completions, wrapping things up. And I'm hearing that there's this beautiful new cycle coming in. But first, we have to make the decision. So for September, remember, there are decisions that need to be made right now. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Decis decisions that need to be made on, okay, what do I need to start doing? What do I need to stop doing? Okay? So that way I can live a life of alignment. Alrighty? So this is the read and a half for you. If it resonates, feel free to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my readings. You can add me on Facebook or on TikTok where I post other readings and also memes and stuff like that, you know. And I'm also open for personal readings, so if you want to hit me up on Facebook or my email, that information is down below. And I send you all of my love, and you have a blessed and wonderful day. Ta-ta. Hey, boo-boo. If you chose group two with the cat tarot, this is going to be your reading, okay? So... What I was hearing is that you guys are my clear audience, and you're going to be, or you have already, uh, started hearing songs and lyrics pop in your head, and Spirit is saying that there are messages in the music that you're hearing, okay? So whatever songs have been reminiscing in your head, I'm hearing reminiscing, okay? Like you thought about it, and it's like, okay, what does this mean? 
And Spirit's called you to listen to your intuition and lean into what you think it means. All right, so let's get it popping. Let's get an affirmation for the next four months. So Spirit, what affirmation do you have for group two? What affirmation do you have for group two? Okay, so we have, I witness the darkness and call the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Okay, so spirit is saying that you're going to be changing your perspective on something. It's like not feeling fearful about things anymore. I feel like you guys might be kind of living in your root chakra or you have, which I mean, collectively, uh, you know, the media has been trying to make us all live in our root chakra and feel unbalanced, unsafe, ungrounded. And you're going to be witnessing things that at first used to scare you with, like, boldness. And you're going to be regaining courage in your situation, okay? Show me the overarching energies for the next four months. Spirit for group two. I have a higher purpose. You're going to be elevating your vibe. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to be realizing that you have a higher calling, a higher purpose. And that fear is the dream killer. That's what I'm hearing. And it's also given like, you know, whenever we're afraid of following our intuition, we have, I have, it says, I trust my intuition. You're going to be start, start trusting your intuition is what's coming through. Okay. And you're not going to let fear stop you from pursuing your higher purpose, that you have a reason to be here. And you're going to, I'm hearing that you're going to discover what that reason is within the next four months. Okay. So let's get some more Oracle cards. Let's see some more. What else, Spirit, for group two? Okay, so we have the word, Lord, communication, praise, and dishonesty. So you're, I'm hearing that your throat chakra is being activated. You're not going to be afraid, like with the root chakra, you're not going to be afraid to speak your truth on, on things is what's coming through. Uh, your communication, you're going to start communicating to the universe exactly what you want for yourself and not settling for less. That's what I'm hearing. As I say that, at the bottom of this deck, we have the prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty, poverty, poverty consciousness, okay? So you're going to be getting out of low vibe and ish, thinking less than or thinking like, like low vibe things, right? And you're going to start elevating in the power of your word. I'm hearing that word is bond and you're going to be casting positive spells for yourself by changing your dialogue. That's what's coming through, okay? Getting out of the poverty mindset. What else, Spirit? For group two, Spirit. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, we have the Divine Masculine, the Sun. You're going to allow yourself to be seen and be heard within the next four months. Not holding back is the vibe. The Divine Masculine, you're going to be stepping into your masculine energy and taking charge. Not being passive aggressive or anything like that. Like I said, your throat chakra is being activated. I'm getting Aries energy, bold communications, and bold actions. You're not going to hold yourself back. Also, you see this card? He's holding a moon, right? And you're going to be more in control of your emotions is what I'm hearing. It's like in the world, not of the world, and more in control of your emotional state and not being reactive to situations or triggered. Actually, yeah, okay. What else, Spirit? All right, so we have Aquarius, the Radical. Look at this energy, y'all. Okay, so Aquarius, it says experimental, rational, unique, liberal, eccentric, group-oriented, humanitarian, radical, free, eccentric, diverse, futuristic. It's, this is given, like, you're going to, you're realizing that there's something unique about yourself. Like you are unique. You are different. You are the oddball and not feeling like emotionally triggered or a victim anymore. It's like, you're going to, I'm here for the next four months. You're going to be focusing on, it's like your weaknesses are actually your strengths. What you thought was weird and different about you is actually a superpower. You're going to allow people to see you. That's what's coming through. Look, pow, <laughs> in your face. And this is, this is awesome, y'all. What else, Spirit, for the next four months for group two? We have Quincux Complexity. So what I'm hearing is that regardless of the situation that you're in, where before I feel like your emotions were overly reactive to the stimuli, 
Like, it's feeling like there was just a lot going on. And you're going to be getting more grounded in complex situations. All right. You're, I'm, I'm hearing that song, I know who the pieces fit. And this is like trusting your guidance, trusting your intuition on moving forward and not letting fear stop you. Changing the way that you see yourself. And this is really powerful, you guys. Like, really powerful stuff. You're going to be more in control of your destiny. Instead of letting the wind take you wherever is what I'm hearing, you're going to start showing up for yourself, not be a cookie cutter. You're going to be more bold because you know that you have a higher calling, a higher purpose. All right. This is, you're, you're going to be speaking things into reality. You're realizing that you have control within the chaos is what I'm hearing. Okay. You have control within the chaos. And we have Venus love. Beauty, harmony, romance, like you're going to be bringing harmony and balance back into your life where before it felt kind of, I mean, you're dark, cold, isolated, and it's like bringing warmth back into your life, realizing that you had the answer all along, that you were the key. I'm also getting self-love vibes. This is like loving the, the weird, quirky, complex things about yourself. Like you're, I'm hearing that your self-esteem is going to be elevating within the next four months. And you're going to be real honest with yourself and others and not hold back anymore. Okay, so we have Venus love. It means beauty, harmony, romance, charm, receiving. It's like realizing that there's something charming about your beauty. Like what I watched this video yesterday and this guy was like, uh, what constitutes someone as being attractive or beautiful and he said that you know it's actually the strangeness about someone that's usually the thing that makes someone attractive something that is strange about you is very attractive and you're going to start having more confidence in this truth and i'm hearing that the more that you're allowing yourself to like feel comfortable in your skin again and to trust your your guidance trust your actions it's like the world's going to be trusting you more Bottom of the deck, we have Libra, the idealist. There's harmonious. We have harmony and harmonious. So we have Venus energy, Libra energy. Also, you know, you might decide to wear the crazy hat. Like, that's that's the vibe that I'm getting. Deciding to wear the crazy hat, do the crazy thing, and be unapologetic while doing it. And it's feeling the fear of doing it anyway. So that's going to be the vibe for you guys. So let's go ahead and get it popping and see. We're going to uh, pull the tarot and see the energies for September, October, November, November, and December. Okay? Spirit, show me the energies for September for group two. That was fast, y'all. Okay, so we have the Aquarius card, the Radical. And we have another card. This is the Aquarius card. It's the star. Okay, it's the star. Look at this. You see this cat? Like, he's knocking a cup off of the counter. This is like, fuck it. I don't care. Watch me. Watch me win. Watch me nay nay. Hey, hey. <laughs> like, you know, everyone's like telling the cat, no, don't do that. Bad kitty. And the cat's like, I don't care. I'm doing it anyways. I'm here that you're not going to give any fucks. Like, that's the vibe that you're bringing into the next four months for the rest of 2023. It's like you're going out with a bang, okay? And the star, of course, is about complete vulnerability, authenticity, and believing in magic and dreams again, okay? So for September, it's like you're healing. You're healing from shit. This is just, I'm feeling that you're going to be doing, like, affirmations, okay? You're going to be focusing on affirmations. Oh, and freaking G. Oh! Okay, so we already got, we got September, we have October, November coming out. Let's go ahead and get December. All right, Spear, what's December? Show me December. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. You guys, there is so much beauty in your life. You are so beautiful. You are so talented and there's so many beautiful things coming for you, okay? You're getting out of a dark ass situation, taking the power back. Uh, changing your dialogue with yourself and with the universe and others, allowing yourself to be unapologetic. So for October, we have motherfucking justice, boo boo. So right, like the wrongs are being turned right in your favor for October. There's gonna be uh, also like biting the hand that feeds, kind of ish. Somebody, some people could have been feeding you some bullshit, right? And you're gonna. It's like karma's going to bite people in the ass. This was coming through. We have justice for October. So if certain people did you wrong, it's just like, you know what? I know the truth of myself. I know the truth of my situation. I do the best that I can. And you're going to continue to do the best that you can. And, you know, people, they're going to get their karma. I'm just, that's what's happening with October, okay? November. 
you're going to be the empress. Like, everything that you spoke is going to come to fruition is what Spirit's saying. Okay, back to the word, Lord, right? So by come uh, November, you're going to be the empress. You're stepping into your creative flow. It's like wearing, it just feels like you're going to be it. You are going to be the it girl, the it guy by November, okay? Major transformational month. Like in the next four months is what's coming. We have literally three major arcanas, okay? The star, justice, and the empress, boo-boo. This is realizing I am not a victim of my circumstance. I get to decide what I bring to the table because I know it has value. I know that it has worth. I know that my actions speak for itself. And you're going to, it's like not looking for validation or approval from the world anymore. And justice is being handed. You don't have to do anything. The universe is by your side and fights your battles for you. Now, by December, we have the Ace of Cups, boo-boo. The Ace of Cups. Look at this. So, look, this is given, like, you're going to be drinking from your own cup, your own fountain. Uh, this is like, no, like, I'm hearing that for a long time, it was like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And I'm hearing that it's like, you're going to, this level of self-love that is just going to be immersed within your heart is opening up. And you're, you're finally going and you're drinking the water. You're finally meditating. You're finally loving yourself fully by December. And this is like your heart is opening up within the next four months. And it doesn't matter if it's messy or if it has edges or if you have bumps and scratches. It's like that's what makes you beautiful, boo-boo. This is all about that self-love. Loving the complexity of yourself, boo-boo, is what I'm hearing. And you're going to be taking action. You're not going to sleep on your gifts. You're no longer going to sleep on who you are, is what Spirit's saying. This is reinvention and this is healing. Like you're going to be healing so much within the next four months. And it's because you finally, it says, I'm going to come back to this affirmation. It says, I witness the darkness and I call on the light within my prayer. It's like you're going to be calling on the light within the darkness if you've been in a dark situation. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. Like realizing that life is just teaching you. And it's like you've already, you've learned the lessons. You've learned the harsh lessons and now it's time for you to thrive. Now it's time for you to create. And I'm here that you're going to be blessed tenfold, period. This is this is such a beautiful message. And I just want to say, you are worthy. You are so worthy of so much more in this life. And whatever anyone has ever said to you or done to you, whatever, like, God's for spirit fights your battles. All right? You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is shine your light. Be the light in the dark. Okay? That's what I'm here. So let's get you some final advice. Oh, I just love this reading so much. So your final advice, we have angel number 77, and it says spirituality. So spirit is saying it's time to do some spiritual inventory, all right? Focus on your spirituality. Focus on your connection to God's first spirit. It's like whenever we come together in prayer and hope and faith, miracles happen, okay? So spirit wants you to focus on your spirituality right now, and you're going to be glowing from the inside out, all right? That's how it works. Alrighty, so this is the message I have for you for the rest of this year, 2023. If it resonates, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm so excited for you. Uh, make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my readings. And if you want to add me on Facebook and TikTok, I do share other messages and readings over there as well. And I'm open for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading, you can message me on Facebook or my email address. I send you all of my love and you have a blessed and wonderful day. Ta-ta. Hey, boo-boo. So if you chose group three with the Muse Tarot, this is going to be your reading. And I was actually get a, getting a song uh, in my head just now while shuffling your cards. It was a song by Pink, uh, What About Us, okay? Sticks and stones, they may break my bones, but then I'll be ready. Are you ready? Okay, so that song was channeling through. So I'm hearing that it's like you've been pushing past the friction, the friction okay? Uh, let's go ahead and get it popping with an affirmation. Let's see real quick. So, Spirit, what affirmation do you have for group three for the next four months? What affirmation do you have for group three? Ooh. Okay, it says, my vibes speak louder than my words. So, for the next four months, Spirit's saying that you're going to be focusing on the energy that you're bringing to the situation. Right? My vibes speak louder than my words. I'm also hearing that you're very, very empathic because... 
Empathic people, this is our superpower. We could either uh, like clear the energy in a room, let's say, like if you could radiate a bad vibe or a good vibe or attract people into the room, right? That's that's how you are is what Spirit's yeah. saying. And for the next four months, you're going to start being more mindful about your own energy. Like also I'm hearing like feeling the room, like you feel the room. And you pick up the energy of people a lot and sometimes it makes you kind of feel defensive where it's like you're trying to protect yourself but spirits saying that your vibes speak louder than your words and also like your words are going to start matching your vibe is what i'm hearing all right spirit so show me the overarching energies for group three for the next four months it says i can change my thoughts i can change my thoughts so you're, I'm hearing that this is going to be like the next four months is going to be about mindfulness, about your thoughts, your energy is what's coming through, changing your thoughts. This is like transforming your mind, your mentality, healing your mind and your mentality. Okay. Show me more spirit for group three. You're going to be doing a lot of releasing. That's what I'm hearing. We have the keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. All right, so I just heard for some of you guys, you could be speaking your peace on a situation, and I'm hearing that you've you've been analyzing a situation fully, like from end to end, and it's like you're coming to some conclusions is what I'm hearing about things. Look, we have the phoenix at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it says resurrection, surrender to change. So you're going to be having a lot of changes coming through. I'm hearing that the scales of balance are being tipped over into your favor because you're going to be cutting out what doesn't serve you and it's like okay who am i what am i bringing to the table and how can i be the change in my environment how can i be the change in my situation this is realizing that it's not about what's going on around us it's about who who we are and our energy okay so that's what i'm hearing heavily especially with the phoenix energy purging out what doesn't serve you what else spirit for group three I can change my thoughts. I'm here. I can change my mind. Spirit said that it's okay to change your mind, to change course if you have to. You have to do what's right for you. You have to do what's going to help you get to the next level. I feel like you've, you've, you were stuck at one level for a very long time, kind of this stalemate, stagnant energy, and you're going to be getting out of that. I'm also hearing, like, regardless if... It's like, I'm hearing regardless if something was fair... You're, you're just going to do your own thing and not let it have such a heavy effect on you, right? So sometimes we come into opposition with things like things aren't fair or balanced and we try to prove our case and I'm hearing that you might have to walk away, okay? To, that Because I'm hearing that some people didn't value in certain places and whenever you value yourself when you decide to not tolerate something, okay? Whenever you do actually speak up for yourself. I'm hearing that you've been quiet for a long time and you're going to just, you're deciding that like your life matters, like your decisions matter, your ideas matter, and you're going to be changing your mind a lot, on a lot of things. Okay. Look, we have beauty, change, autumn, literally change. Okay. So I'm hearing by the time fall comes around, uh, things are going to be equaling out for you big time. Okay. So the beauty card, this is saying like, here's that self-expression. All right, self-expression coming through. Spirit's saying that you're not going to be holding back. You're you're finally going to let your actions speak uh, like your vibe speaks. Like, I feel like you, a lot of times for a long time you were, like, kind of tiptoeing around on things. But people could feel your energy, right? People could feel your energy. And nobody wanted to speak up is what I'm hearing. But you're going to finally speak up. And you're going to be changing your mind on how you're approaching the situation. And... I'm hearing that it's going to look good on you, boo-boo. This change is looking good on you. The fact, like, it's like you're now revealing to your, yourself and to the world, like, who you are by speaking up is what I'm hearing. Show me more spirit for group three. Okay, so we have Ascendant. It says Outlook. So this, like I said, what something about your, the way that you approach life is changing. Like, you're changing. It's, it's, this is given transformation vibes. Like I said, back to that Phoenix card. We have these oranges. I'm seeing like with the beauty card and the Phoenix card, we have oranges and yellows. All right. So this is about your creativity and, and, uh, root chakra. This was coming through solar plexus and, uh, the sacral. Those are the, those are what's going to be coming into balance because you're going to be changing your mind as above, so below, right? That's what I'm hearing as above, so below. 
So it's like, okay. And look at this. Look, we have yellow and orange again on the outfit. I'm also hearing that you're, it's like, I'm hearing, I see your true colors shining through. You've been holding back a lot, whether it's your ideas or the way that you come off to people, like not wanting to step on toes. I'm hearing that you're going to start like stomping all the eggshells kind of ish. Like you're going to just be yourself, allow yourself to shine. It says worldview, mission statement, expression. Uh, okay, so we had that self-expression card. Like your expression is changing. And I'm here, like, the reason why things, it's, okay, I'm getting a lot coming through. Uh, it's like you're in a situation and maybe you didn't speak up for yourself or you just, like, went with the flow with everything else around you and you're going to find, you're finally realizing, like, this isn't what I want. I want more. So you speak your mind about a matter and it's like people could either take it or leave it. And if they decide to leave it, you can leave. That, like, that's the vibe <laughs> is what I'm hearing. So you're, like, your beauty is changing. Your aesthetic's changing. Because you're changing your thoughts. It starts within. That's what I'm hearing. You're starting within. You're working within. And it's, it's going to start to reveal outwardly in your expression. Okay? Also, with that fairness and balance card, there are scales. It's giving Libra energy. Okay? Also, with my vibes speak louder than my words, this is also talking about intention. Like, energy behind intention. It's like, we can... Go through the motions is like before you were just going through the motions of life and for the next four months you're going to be focused on setting an intention actually having an intention behind everything that you do from from the way that you're cooking your food like praying over your food while you cook set an intention right or uh your work right instead of just going with the motions at a job actually having the intention to bring some beauty or magic to what you're doing that's the energy that that i'm feeling here Oh, boo boo, we have a silly that we have the North Node Destiny. Spirit is saying that beauty is your destiny. This is giving like the beauty path kind of kind of thing, okay? So Spirit is saying for you for the next four months, beauty is gonna be really healing for you. Okay. So the North Node Destiny, you could have like North Node, let's say a Libra or something. That's that's the vibe. Okay, so we have soul school, learning curve, fulfillment, purpose, maturing, experience, north star, process, development, practice, like Practice makes perfect is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing that you're going to be, you're discovering your expression for the next four months. Discovering your voice. Discovering your expression. And this change is looking so beautiful on you. Like I said, by the time fall comes around, I'm hearing that you're going to be immersed in this change. You're not even going to look the same. As within, so without is what spirit keeps saying. So affirmations, big time for you guys. Okay, I can change my thoughts. You can change. And this is also given like shedding skin. You see like, I'm here to stay golden, pretty boy, right? She's shedding and it's like this gold that's coming off of her. Everything that you do is like, you're the gold. You're the magic, right? You're going to start valuing yourself. And if other, I'm here that for a while, you were not valuing yourself to, the, to your highest potential. Therefore, how can the world value you if you don't value yourself? And now you're, you're going to be valuing yourself. You're going to be valuing your work, your, your, your good deeds. Like I did good, right? That's the vibe. Like I showed up, I did the best that I could. I showed the world my gifts, my talents. I let the world know who I was. Right. And people could either love it or hate it. Like I said, some people might be falling off the, you know, the side, sidelines, whatnot. And we have Pluto, boo-boo. Transformation season heavily for you guys. With Taurus at the bottom of the deck. Venus energy. Beauty. Like I said, it's giving like... Because that's like second house energy, right? Uh, you're gonna, It's like changing the flow of things. It just feels like your whole physical world is going to be changing because you're changing your thoughts. You're changing the way you're looking at things. All right? And we have Pluto transformation, Scorpio energy in the built-in. All right, so it says renewal, inner resources, like I said, within. Like, you're going to be having this internal transformation, right? And with this, this internal transformation, it's going to be shining on the outside is what Spirit is showing me here. This transformation is part of your destiny, all right? And sometimes, like, you know, with transformation, something comes to an end. So, you, you know, you were really purged through things. And this really crystallized you. It made, it, made you into this beautiful diamond that you are today, boo-boo. So let's go ahead and get it popping with some uh, tarot. We're going to see September, October, November, and December's energy, okay? Spirit, show me September's energy for group three. 
Also, the bottom of this deck, look, we have I am good enough. It's like you're going to be realizing your worth. Like I said, your value, your, your self-worth, that you bring so much goodness to the table. I feel like you were using your superpower for bad in the sense of like for a long time. You might have been pushing other people away with your energy, with like negativity. And it's like you're getting out of that. You're no longer being negative anymore. You're deciding. You're making the decision to be happy right now. You're making the decision to change course, right? Like you're the one who, who could make the decision this whole time. Instead of waiting around. That's what I'm hearing. Back to that pink song. Like that song's talking about like, what about us? What about me? You know? And... A lot of times we can get in that victim mindset where it's like we're expecting either other people to read our mind or we're expecting a savior, like somebody to come save us. And it's like you can be rescuing yourself. And I'm telling you, this superhero vibe that you got going on is looking sexy. This is giving like, I, like looking sexy being independent and rescuing yourself, boo-boo. Show me September's energy for group three. I keep wanting to say group one, so if you're attracted to group one, go watch that. We have the star. Boo -boo. We have the star for September. You're dreaming again. Your dreams are coming back to life. You're, it's like reinvention. Things are changing. You're changing. You were purged out of that dark situation, and now you're the star. This is Aquarius energy as well. You could be an Aquarius, but this is given like healing vibes, like her North Node. It's like going towards your North Node, your dreams, okay? It's like things have been ripped from you, and this... Like, you look graceful through the change is what I'm hearing. So for September, you're going to be focusing on star energy, okay? You're going to be the star of your own reality. And like I said, it's like I'm getting romanticizing yourself, romanticizing your life. Take yourself out on a date, right? It just feels like you're feeling sexy again, feeling good in your skin again, feeling confident. Your vibe, because your vibe speak louder than your words, is like, like I said, you're setting the attention, okay? And I'm hearing that you're gonna, your manifestations are going to be coming through because you're just going to be an acceptance of who you are, an acceptance of your North Node, your North Star. Like, you have these gifts. Spirit wants me to tell you that you have these talents, and sometimes you'll second-guess your talents and stuff. Uh, but Spirit wants me to let you know that nobody can take your gifts away from you because God's first Spirit gave those to you, right? So if God gave those to you, like, who is the world, who is man to take that away from you, Right? Like, even if, like, others would reject you or whatever. It doesn't matter because God's first spirit created a masterpiece when he was making you. He, she, whatever, they, whatever. You know, like, you are gifted. You are beautiful. And spirit wants me to remind you, like, the world can't take that away from you. There's this beautiful, like, energy, this beauty that's been dormant. And it's like, it's coming back out. It's coming back out because you have room to dream. It's like, you're going to be taking up space is what spirit's saying in September. Show me October's energy, spirit. Oh, wow. So for October, we have the Page of Cups, the Page of Emotions. Your heart's going to be like fully open. I'm here at full throttle. Okay. Also, we have this energy, like we have the, the tummy area being highlighted right here. They, it's like, like I said, like your creativity, your creativity is being, is being bored again. Like things are coming back into balance. I'm also hearing that you might have gotten out of a harsh situation. It could have been a toxic living environment. And it's like where before you didn't have space to be yourself or to dream and grow. And now because you're finally being honest and you're releasing certain individuals, certain situations, jobs, what have you. It's like you're finally going to have peace of mind and be able to dream. Okay. You're going to be able to go after your goals finally. That's what I'm hearing. And your heart's going to be just wide open. You're going to trust your intuitive guidance because this is part of your destiny. Uh, this ideal beauty that you have for yourself. It's like you have these ideas. And God's Holy Spirit said that, it's like Einstein says. I love this quote. It's like my favorite. Einstein said that your imagination is a preview to life's coming attraction. And you're starting to realize that that's true. And there's been this creative dormant energy that's been inside of you and it's coming out like you're now deciding to create something this is like giving secret garden vibes like you have the secret garden within you and it's so beautiful and it wants to be seen in the world okay show me november's energy oh hey hey oh november's energy we have the high priestess i told you you're gonna be trusting your guidance especially in november you know the veil is gonna be the thinnest you know the winter time fall winter time that's coming around and with the high priestess, this is like, you know who you are. You're, it's like you're no longer second guessing who the fuck you are. I feel like you were second guessing yourself because things were distracting you. Things were distracting you from your path. And you had all these like people's expectations of you fitting in this world, 
going, I've just heard going the nine to five, you know, things like that, the mundane. It's like you're going to be getting out of the mundane and getting into the extraordinary come November. And you're going to be realizing like, I'm doing the thing. I'm finally in my highest calling. Okay. So November is like, I'm that bitch. Okay. I am the motherfucking high priestess. Okay. Yes. And I'm hearing also that you're, there's something, something that was dormant. It's going to be just like released into the world. And there's going to be no, no question about it. No shadow of a doubt by November. Like this is my calling. This is my path because I did the inner work because I changed my mindset because I didn't let my circumstance con control or dictate what's going on inside here. Right? That's the vibe. Show me December's energy for group three. Okay. So December, we have the Ace of Inspiration or the Ace of Wands. So that's about your creativity. And we have the Six of Cups, Six of Emotions. So what I'm hearing is that there's these gifts that you've had since childhood. Because uh, the Six of Cups, this is about the childhood. This is about the past. And this is the Ace of Inspiration. You're going back and you're reclaiming something from your childhood. It's like a gift. Like you might have been like a clairvoyant as a child or something like that. Or a very artistic or whatever. It's like you're, it's a soul retrieval. By December, you're having this like introspection and having a soul retrieval. Okay. It's like, okay, let's bring the inner child and the adult version of me together. And let's be best friends. By December, that's the vibe that you're going to be having, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. So this is your wish fulfillment. You're ha For the next four months, I'm here that wishes are being granted because you decided to clear out the old clutter, all right? So I'm really excited for you. Your self-worth, you're going to be valuing yourself, period, all right? So people can either take it or leave it. That's on them, Uh like I said, like some people ain't going to make the cut because you're finally going to be speaking up. You're finally going to be admitting the truth to yourself of where you stand on things, right? You're not going to be just so nice and accommodating anymore. And you're going to be shining. It's like because you're not wearing all these fake masks and facades, you finally rip the ugly, you know, the old mask and you show your real face. And it's been so beautiful. And I don't know why you've been hiding. Okay, it's time to come out. <laughs> So let's get you some final advice. So Spirit, what final advice do you have for group three? Oh, we have the angel number 81. That's eight and one is nine, which is about wrapping things up, uh, finishing up karmic cycles and entering a new cycle where it all starts with you. You're the one, okay? So we have leadership. So the advice for the next four months is to step into a leadership role, to not be on the sidelines and let other people dictate where the ship is going. Like you take control, you're the captain. That's what Spirit's saying. So you're the captain. It's time for you to take control. Okay, what do you want? Where do you want to fucking go? Okay, because where the ship is going, I'm here. It's like, uh, we don't need to go this way. It's time to go that way, right? That's the vibe. Bottom of the deck, we have music. So Spirit's saying that pink song, uh, that's coming back around. You're a clear audience. And also, listen to music that brings your vibe up, that elevates your energy. That's very important for you, music, okay? Well, this is the reading I have for you. And if it resonated, feel free to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you want to add me on Facebook or on TikTok, I also post videos over there, different types of videos that I do on YouTube. And also, I am doing, uh, uh, what do you call you know, you know the thing. Y'all Mercury's in retrograde. I can't talk. <laughs> I'm doing personal readings, okay? So if you want to hit me up on my Facebook, message me there. Or if you want to hit me up on my email, I have that information linked down below. And I send you all of my love. And you just have a blessed and wonderful day. And just keep shining your light, boo-boo. Ta-ta.